So, we had six weeks of progress from March through into April, and we got a lot done, and it was great. And then a succession of things happened. We had some technical difficulties um, with our generator because we don't actually have any power here, so we have to sort of bring all our power if we're going to do um, more complicated things. And and the generator stopped working, which was not useful. And also, uh, some life stuff happened, which which added complications, and some work stuff happened, which meant that both both myself and Emma had to spend quite a lot of time doing stuff to earn money, which is an unfortunate reality of the stuff that we still need to do. That meant that we lost about seven weeks. I can't remember exactly. It was, it was, it, it was about just over a month and a half that we weren't able to get to the boat at all. This is the second day that we've been back. We were actually, our first day was yesterday, and we came along and we cleaned the boat, and it's looking great, and I got sunburnt to hell, and my back is suffering. But we're back, and we should be able to do a good, healthy run of work for a reasonable amount of time. Things are clear, things are working, and uh, yeah, we're, we've got stuff done, and we want to get more stuff done. We're back at the boat after six weeks. How does it feel to be kind of back in it after a lot of complicated stuff meant that we couldn't do it? At last, we can get on with things again. This is how we left it. We almost got the lining out done and we kind of we did the ceiling and we got halfway along and then we had to stop, um, partly because we need to put the stove in. Um, but. It's, yeah. a, it's amazing the difference that the ceiling makes, isn't it? It's just, I yeah. mean, just I mean, looking at this. We've, we've, we've got some small issues with the ceiling that we've got to fix. <laughs> this one in particular has a bit of a bend in it. Yeah, that's not planned. <laughs> that is not... It's just sagged. Uh, yeah. Um, but this is where the wardrobe's going to be, so there's going to be two more bulkheads. Yeah on either side, which we're hoping will fix that problem. Oh yeah, I think I think support will, will, will do the job. The roof currently, well the roof, I always call it the roof despite the fact that it's the ceiling. I, I think I just conceptually get confused between it. Uh, yeah, it goes all the way up to here and, and basically the point at which we hit the stove and life gets complicated. I guess also, how, how are you feeling about the walls and the fact that we've got lights in and things? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was um, pretty satisfying getting some lights in. Yeah. Um, that makes it feel a bit more like we're almost, you know, we can, we can move on board soon. <laughs> of course, soon, soon is, is a, an, an elastic concept at the moment, isn't it? Soon, as in somewhere in the future that we're not quite sure. Do you, do you want a uh, thingy end? Eh? A, a, do you want a... The um, right attachment for that. If I can find the, the Craig stuff. It's a Craig, yeah. But you don't have the right Craig attachment for this, do you? Well... That's the shortest one I've got. That's, that's not far off. Too long though. <laughs> Thanks. I'll, go, I'll carry on with the Phillips. <laughs> with the posse. It's, it's, I mean, he's got it nearly out. <laughs> well, if it's working, it's working. I've no idea why it's working. What, what are we up to at the moment? Oh, God. Um, we have to fit the inlet pipes for the water tank and they're going in the bow either side. We've got two inlet, inlets to our tank. Yeah, this is different because we've got an enclosed bow, isn't it? Yeah, no. it's like some people just have them in the, the deck in their bow or um, on the gunnel. Ours are going to be on the, the gunnel on either side, but they're like right at the front and because we've got an enclosed bow, we've got a piece of steel if you imagine a gunner that's like that, we've got a piece of steel coming down like that. Yeah. So we've got to go reach into this narrow space and try and fit the um, the metal closure for the for the water tank and, and get the pipe on. It's it's sort of it's going to be tricky. 
yeah I'm hoping we can do this it this way otherwise we have to sort of run them through the front bulkhead yeah I guess we'll see <laughs> Okay, am I going to start cutting now then? Um, I thought Saxon was going to volunteer for uh, that. Well, yes, I think I... Uh, <laughs> is it time for me to shine? <laughs> do you want to just quickly explain from the outside um, what we're attempting to do and what problem we're actually kind of encountering? We wanted to put our water inlet just here and have one on both sides, just there. So... Nice, convenient, on the gunnel, close to the edge. Looks like we're going to have to put it here instead. Because um, I don't want to put it on the kind of the rainwater runoff. Because um, that's where you instinctively tread and I don't want to slip on that. Yeah. We'll get it covered in muck. If we go inside I can show you all the problems involved in that. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have to do here then, just explaining? Well, this is the inside um, of that spot on the outside. Um, so we started removing spray foam and discovered that, well, we knew it was narrow, but uh, it's very narrow, but the steel seems to be running in a different direction to what we expected. So it's actually narrowing to a point instead of um, giving us a, a big open space inside. So. I think there's some steel, maybe a triangular shaped reinforcement piece in there so we can't put the water in that just there. If we look in here, in the bow thruster locker, okay. so that's, that's the area we've got to play with in here um, and it's not very big and it's curved on one side um, but if you look here, this is what we missed. There's some sort of triangular reinforcement on that edge that's preventing us on this side. It's a bit frustrating, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, we've been putting off this job for a long time because we knew it was going to be a bugger. Because um, this is really thick and we didn't really want to have to run a pipe through it if, uh, if we could avoid it. But it looks like now, like, yeah, we can't avoid it. Yeah, we're going to have to sort of drill a hole up there and then drill another hole in here to come down to the tank because we can't put a hole into the door <laughs> because the access door is is for the bow thruster and... Which is, uh, which is this lovely device here. And, yeah, if we have any, any problems with the bow thruster, we need a decent amount of access to that to get it repaired. So what's the plan? We're currently concentrating on the bedroom. Do you want to just like sort of talk through? Because we're, try we're trying to sort it so that we can move on as soon as possible. How yeah. are we going about that? Well, we have to get the water tank plumbed in properly, in place, nailed down, sort of. Well, <laughs> I hope it's a bit more, more firmly than sort of. <laughs> well, fixed in place so it won't go anywhere. Yeah, that, that sounds uh, good. And then we need to build the bed on top of it. Yeah and put in the... Yeah, the walls, which are these. These magnificently groovy panels that we've had, like, ready for ages, but they're, they're, they're quite big, and att attaching them is going to be fun, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Once, yeah, once we've got the bedroom, we've lined out and we've got the bed in, then we can start spending nights at the boat, which means that we can spend you know we can get up early and spend a full day working and we don't have to break off and go home for dinner or whatever um so we'll get a lot more work done once um, once we've got the bed in and then it's it's basically it's a matter of getting the stove in and getting a rudimentary kitchen really I think. yeah it's kind of it's kind of the kitchen um, sink <laughs> more than anything else isn't it and getting some kind of rudimentary electrics running yeah so that we can because because we kind of need a fridge really to be able to stay over for any length of time yeah it's going to be a sort of a camping out situation where we can spend the the odd night on board and do work and then go back home and uh, recuperate and do you want to just explain 
the amount of just about the amount of time we've been able to generally spend at the boat because <laughs> you know because you were saying that we have because we, we haven't oh, yeah. really talked about that that much really have we yeah so there were some people wondering why it was taking so long and that's because we both work full time we've been able to spend about four afternoons a week on average on the boat well it's, it's sometimes five yeah sometimes five it varies it's often four because we freelance the, the work is up and down and then we have to kind of break off um, every now and again and just like work and work and work and we don't get to come to the boat for several weeks in a row and then we can come back here again and try and pick up remember what we were doing <laughs> <laughs> But that, that's the reason it's slow progress, it's because we ha we're very busy people, we have a lot to do. We, ha we haven't really had much time to go out and have fun in the last uh, two, three years, Well, no, we? not really. <laughs> I remember fun. <laughs> Looking forward to having some more of it. Yeah. <laughs> so... In... We, we just cleaned this yesterday. Yes. We're very sunburned. Yes. Oh. But but we're very glad that we did because if we'd been doing this filming um, before yesterday, the boat would be looking considerably sort of greener and grubbier. It had a dead fish on it. Yes. <laughs> we don't know how as well. We don't know where it came exactly where it came from. I think it might have been a cormorant or a heron or something. Yeah, and 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 and, and it, it wasn't like a dead fish. It was like the very skeletal remains. Yeah, it was a cartoon skeleton fish. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but this is this is one of the jobs, one of the many roof jobs that we did um, last time we were down and working, um, putting in the boxes for the um, solar panels to put them through the roof. It's a nightmare finding boxes that have enough junctions in for yeah, all the cables. It? There's a lot of caravan manufacturers out there that expect you to have like one solar panel, but this is a boat and it's an awkward shape and we need about four solar panels. Um, we've also got 4G aerial for internet and up here under this uh, this, this mess of duct tape there is uh, there's going to be um, a, a TV and radio aerial. You'll have to explain about the TV and radio aerial because you're the one who did all the research. Oh, okay. Well, I guess, I mean, the thing to explain about the TV and radio aerial is it's, uh it's a TV and radio aerial, basically. I mean, it's uh, it's a recommended one that's uh, that's used on 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 a lot of caravans, and uh, and it's adjustable. We're actually having to design it into the the, the kind of sort of tech shelf that we're going to be constructing for stuff like uh, some of our computers and 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 our television and things like this, because basically it's an aerial that actually kind of protrudes down. Uh, through the roof and uh, you have a little lever that you you turn in order to rotate it because it, it can either be horizontal or it can be vertical and you can also adjust the height of it which is going to be really really useful because obviously we're going to be moving around we're going to be in different locations and we're not going to know exactly where the tv transmission is so we'll be able to actually aim the aerial accordingly and uh, yeah like like a lot of the gadgets um were that we've bought recently we're, we're really, really hoping that it works because we haven't really been able to test them. So, I guess we'll see. How are we doing here? I'm making a mess. Okay. So this this is basically us putting back what we did when we found that we couldn't do what we wanted to do. Yeah. No expanding foam. <laughs> I'm mainly just worried about restoring the sort of vapor barrier. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just putting, putting the um, insulation roughly back in place. How's it looking? Aside from the sicker legs, obviously. Uh, it's looking like a right bodge job. Stop filming, please. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatically black hand. So how how are we? Uh, do you like my nails? Uh, they're, they're, they're beautiful. It's, it's called Sycophilex Black, isn't it? I haven't had a chance to paint my nails in years. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, come down the boat, somehow end up covered in Sycophilex. It's, it, but it's, it's so good for the skin, I hear. <laughs> so, how are we doing? 
and and well, <laughs> we've we've changed where we're putting the the water inlet again. <laughs> so I, I guess we haven't really achieved anything today, but we've made a decision, which is kind of more important, really. Well, today was about doing little tasks and and exploring and yeah. Um, figuring out where where it was going to go, you know, we we didn't actually bring the equipment down, down to do it because we knew we wouldn't have time to do it after um, all the exploring and figuring out. <laughs> yeah, but you're feeling good that we've got them. Uh, we've got it worked out in the right place. Yeah, it's basically the only place it can go, really. So, Phil, how how, how are you feeling uh, on the triumph of you over the the water inlets? I feel shaky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, relieved that the holes are cut and in the right place and ready to go. So the next job will be to uh, put the black sticky stuff around them, uh, get some bolts and nuts and bolt them in position and hope that they'll be watertight. Hurrah! Both sides. Confidence. <laughs> yes. But uh, quite pleased with the way we've cut through the eight millimeter thick deck of the boat with a hole cutter never ceases to amaze me how well they work <laughs> <laughs>